Welcome back to Adventures with Afterthought. This is episode two, and we're gonna go on an even crazier ride this time. This time, we're talking about EDC Las Vegas and the Billboard Music Awards, which happened to happen on the same night in this story, and it is crazy. So to start this story, we're gonna start the night before this crazy day. I was in Scottsdale, Arizona. I was there playing a show and then an after show at a club with an artist that will remain nameless. We do the show, turns out awesome, sold out. Everybody had a great time, everything was great. We go back to the hotel, we kind of freshen up real quick and then we have the promoter for the club outside ready to pick us up in the Sprinter van and go to the after party. We get to the after party and it's crazy. I don't know if you've ever been to Scottsdale, Arizona, but there's a little strip in Scottsdale, Arizona, and it's just all a bunch of clubs. And the guys go through on their motorcycles and nice cars go through, and it's just a crazy wild party scene. So we get there, we go in a little back alley into the back door, and we walk into this club, completely packed craziness, and they don't close very early there, so it was pretty late. I mean, I don't remember exactly what time it was, but it was sometime one, two o'clock in the morning at this point, and we just get there, and it's this crazy scene. Do the after party, get out of there as quick as we can. We go, do our obligations, and we get out of there. We get back to the hotel. It was the W in Scottsdale, I won't forget, because the story just gets crazy. We get back, we try to get some sleep. So our flight's at seven o'clock in the morning, and that's not even the earliest flights. I take really early flights, but seven o'clock, it's still pretty early, especially when you didn't get back to your hotel till like 3.30 in the morning. Try to get a couple hours of sleep, and then we have this big day. We get up, get up, and zombie our way to the airport. We get dropped off, and you know what the Vegas airport is. It's just a wild scene in itself with a bunch of groggy people and crazy stuff going on. If you've ever been to the Las Vegas airport before, put it down in the comments what your experience is, because I've heard all kind of wild stuff about the Vegas airport. As soon as we get to Vegas, we land, we get in a truck. When we get to the car spot, they gave me this brand new, beautiful orange McLaren, and mm. I was so stoked to get in this thing, because it just sounded Amazing. You know when you get in a car and you start it and you're just like, oh, I can't wait to drive this. It was so awesome. After that, we head back to the house to get ready to go to the Billboard Awards. When we get there, there's Robin's jeans, custom Robin's jeans outfits waiting for us. And I'm not like really big into Robin's jeans, but they made me this dope custom little outfit and of course I was gonna wear it, so I was super psyched. After that, the barber came. Really, really dope barber in Vegas, does all the celebrities, does all the cool people around town. He pulled up on us, came through, gave us cuts, and we were ready to go. Got dressed, I was feeling awesome. I was like, we're going to the Billboard Awards. This is amazing. If you know where I came from, going to the Billboard Awards. <laughs> is mind-blowing like I shouldn't be going to the Billboard Awards there's no way we live in a simulation there's no way that I'm going to the Billboard Awards especially not in a McLaren we hop in the McLaren we drive we go to the Billboard Awards as soon as we pull up to the Billboard Awards bunch of celebrities out there Camila Cabello was right next to me she was walking in on the red carpet literally there's pictures online of me just standing there next to Camila Cabela as she walks the red carpet we look over to our left and Sway is there Sway's the homie shout out to Sway he sees us and he's like, oh, what's going on? Does a little interview right on the red carpet. It's super dope. We're walking in. Camila Cabela's walking in. We walk in the doors. There's security right there. You have to go through security first before you go into the floor of where the billboard is at, like the MGM Grand, I believe. It's like a convention center or some kind of center. And when you go in, security, and then you're boom right on the floor. And then there's all the seats and all this stuff. So when we're at security, we look over and it's the Migos. The artists know each other, everybody knows each other, everybody greets, says what's up, and we're chilling, just hanging out with the Migos. They have crazy chains on, crazy stuff going on, and I'm just happy to be there. There's all these celebrities, I just don't even know why I'm there. We get through security, we walk in. As soon as we walk in, the first person I see is Polly D from Jersey Shore. Yo, do I got enough chapstick on, Louie? Dude, do I have enough chapstick on, Tony? So we walk in, get greeted by Polly D, we're just like chilling for a second, and then boom, it's off to the floor of the Billboard Awards. That's where all the seats are on the floor. Took it in, we're there for the Billboard Awards, celebrities everywhere, great show, it was super amazing. I'd never been a part of anything like that before, so I had a blast. I just loved seeing everyone and go up to people and say what up, and you were there with them in that area, so they're like, you should be here, right? It was cool, I was dressed nice, it was dope. 
Billboard Awards end. We end up going and shooting a music video. Super random, go to this like warehouse, super crazy set. The artist does the video, everything's dope. And at the end of the video, I hop in the McLaren with my buddy Bill. Now my buddy Bill is one of my really good friends as well. He came on a bunch of tours with us, did a bunch of different jobs on tour and all kind of different things. He's now out in LA just killing it. He works with a bunch of your favorite artists and he just continues to grow. So shout out to Bill. But Bill is with me and we leave this video shoot. We're heading to the MGM Grand. At this point, I'm a zombie. I haven't really slept that much, but I didn't care. Adrenaline's going. And at this point, I was signed to a management company called 24-8. My buddy Perry was my manager at the time and he worked for 24-8. Shout out 24-8, they're out in Nashville, super dope guys. He had given me earlier in the day a car pass, like a parking pass, and two artist bands. I don't know if you've ever been to EDC in Vegas, but it is the wildest, craziest festival that I have ever seen and it's an amazing time. If you've ever been to EDC in Vegas, put it down in the comments, share your experience. I would love to see it, but it's wild. We're in the McLaren, we have these passes and we actually have an opportunity to go back to the hotel and fly in a helicopter right alongside when Post Malone was flying in a helicopter into EDC for his set because all the big artists were flying back and forth. But we had this McLaren and there was no way. We're taking this McLaren, right? I didn't realize that EDC, when you're driving up to the raceway down the highway, is just lined with cars. It's like you're just stopped there and parked and there's one exit with one lane to go off into the raceway to where you can go park and get to your gates and all that stuff. And I mean, you're just sitting there. So we're just sitting in this McLaren and we're basically just in a little party on the road. Everybody's just kind of partying because nobody's really going anywhere. So we start slowly inching, inching, inching. Finally. I was like, I can't take this anymore. I have to do something. And I have this artist like parking pass. I have to do something. So I get in the shoulder and I go and I'm like, I'm in a McLaren. What's the worst that's gonna happen? Pull me over and check out the car. I mean, I I'm I need to get to this place. I start driving down the shoulder and I get past everybody. And I'm going down the highway and now I'm kind of looking around and it's dark, but I can tell we're in the desert. So I see it and now the car lights are getting a little bit further away, a little bit further away. I'm like, wow, now I don't know where we're going. We're just following the highway. I can kind of see it curving around a bit, but I'm still not really sure where we're going. We didn't want to get off that exit that's all I knew I cut off some roads some exits and just ended up over at this other gate when I get there there's two cops sitting there in their cop cars and I'm just pulling up out of basically out of the dark in the desert I just pull up in a McLaren up to these two cops and they're just kind of like where did this dude come from so I tell him hey I have this artist pass I'm supposed to be parked in gate whatsoever blah 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 and I don't know where I'm supposed to go. They start radioing each other and trying to figure out where this gate is. And it turns out that I'm late. So this gate is already closed for whatever reason. And they're not letting people in that gate right now. I'm just like, I have this pass. Like, where am I supposed to go? And they're like, well, you we gotta go back around, blah, blah. I'm like, hey man, there's no way. You want me to drive all the way back around and then get back in the crazy line? I wouldn't get there for two hours. I'm just kind of asking them, kind of like, hey man, you know, but we need to get in here, blah, blah. So finally, the other cop looks at the other Cop, there's another guy sitting there on a four-wheeler and the cop on the four-wheeler looks at him he's like all right I'll take him all of a sudden other cop opens this little gate up they let me drive in and it was like a dirt path so I'm in a McLaren in a dirt path outside of like a raceway in the desert and we're just going I have a little video of it too that I still have from my archives on my phone but I'm like literally driving in the McLaren like in the dark in the desert we finally get in we start getting in by the raceway kind of like wiggling me in and out of all these different places is finally we go through a little tunnel and boom we're on part of the Las Vegas Speedway Raceway and I'm in a McLaren following a four-wheeler a cop on a four-wheeler so I'm just like this is crazy I look at Bill Bill this is insane Bill's laughing it's just a great time we're just enthralled on what's going on I have this crazy outfit on this is nuts right we get into the artist parking lot finally he maneuvers us in through all these crazy little ways we get in we park the McLaren boom we get out when you walk into EDC and for all like major festivals now, but until this, I didn't see it until EDC, but it was this big electronic post and you walked up to it and you put your wristband to it. And if you could go in, it would turn green. If you couldn't go in, it would turn red, right? So we walk up to it. I put my band up to it. Boom, green. Bill walks up to it, puts his wristband to it. Boom, red. So we're both just standing there, we're looking at the lady, and it's the right band, and we both have the same band. His goes red, mine goes green. I'm like, what, what? We got all the way here. So she's like, oh, try it again. 
does it, boom, green. But we're like, oh, okay, cool. We go through this little tunnel. We don't know what to expect. Kind of looking through and you can see the light starting to kind of come through and shine through the tunnel. And you hear all the noise and all the sets going on and there's fireworks and all kind of crazy stuff going on. We're getting excited. And we finally get to the end of the tunnel and boom, we come out and there's this crazy line of people on stilts with neon lights and people with these crazy monster masks running to stages and going this way and that way and people going to the artist lounge and people going this way. And I was just like, wow, this is insane. You're just in the middle of a raceway, a, a NASCAR speedway. And that's what you see when you pop out of the tunnel. Me and Bill look at each other. We're like, all right, let's go find our friends. We ended up going, we find them at the artist lounge. We go to the artist lounge, there's a bunch of trailers everywhere. And then there's a whole setup. And the artist lounge was so crazy. It was themed like an old school airport. So when you went in, you went through a little old school security checkpoint, and then you had like little bars where there was like one of those escalator things where your baggage goes through and all that type of stuff. And it was huge. I mean, you could fit 2000 people in this area probably. There was a really dope like house DJ giving vibes for the whole little, you know, backstage artist party thing. And then you could hear all the sets behind it, all the big stages and just see everything. We ended up just being like, wow, this is crazy. Got a couple drinks and we walked into EDC, like the area where all the stages are and everything. I just have never, I never experienced up until that point in life, I've never really experienced anything like that. It was just the energy and just all the music and the production and there's a Ferris wheel and just so much stuff going on. And granted also, when you're driving in, you can see all this going on off in the distance with the lights going and fireworks and crazy stuff. But then when you get there, it just hits you and you're like, wow, there's so many people here and it's just such a cool feel. So we walked around a bit, kind of got lost for a little while and then we ended up going to one of our friend's sets they crushed it. It was so cool to see one of your friends and one of the people that you work with just go and completely crush a set like that to so many people and they loved it and it was just such a great experience. So at this point, everything was amazing. Great day, all this great experience going to Billboard Awards, coming from Scottsdale, all this crazy stuff. It was super awesome, but it's like midnight, one o'clock and I have to leave the next morning to go home and I'm done. I am drained. I'd been up for two, three days. I just need some sleep. I need to try to go back to sleep. But now we have to drive this McLaren back to the street from the speedway and try to make it back and all this stuff. Thankfully, Bill drove us back because I was just, I was exhausted. I was just delirious, just like, oh man. So we get back to the hotel and we didn't know what kind of room was waiting for us. We had never made it to the other hotel room. So when we walk into the hotel room, it's like a private two-story suite with its own little pool and all this stuff. And we walked in and we just looked at each other like, we didn't even stop here. We didn't even know this crazy room was here. We didn't even get a chance to come here. But it was a cool spot to at least go back to. I got a little bit of rest, a couple hours, got up in the morning. Bill was nice enough to bring the McLaren back. So I was able to just go to the airport get on my flight somehow as a zombie and make it back to Pittsburgh and get home. But it was an amazing experience. I have never been around anything like that up until that point. And I've had a lot of experiences past that that I've gotten to be a part of that were equally as cool or cooler in their own different ways or whatever. But man, at that point in life to see that, that gave me motivation to try to be the best that I can be as anything in the music industry and anything in general, just to push yourself to get to that level. That's where I want to be. I want to be in this always. So I will never forget that story and I will never forget that experience. I really hope that you loved our adventure through EDC Vegas and the building board awards our next one's even crazier it's the first big show that i ever really did in pittsburgh and it was juicy j and travis scott travis scott was opening for juicy j and so much wild stuff happened that you're gonna have to wait for till next time but make sure you subscribe like the video leave a comment if you want hit that notification bell so you know the next time that we drop it even though i'm gonna annoyingly tell you every time we're about to drop a new one i got your back don't worry about it thanks for tuning in to adventures with afterthought and we'll see you next time so, uh, cool, so I'll stop. You're distracting the shit out of me, bro. <laughs> like, I wasn't even paying attention. What was he doing? Right? Hold on, let's just wait a minute. <laughs> this <laughs> mother <laughs> you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Wayne Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky, my dad said that. Are you calling me a liar? No. Nope. <sighs> tough, working, tough working atmosphere. Um, okay, so where do we leave off?
Oh, okay. We... I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, a sound check? I came out, I did my song again, my favorite best song! <laughs> you know what I mean? Alright, ready? Recap, recap, one, two... Oh, not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, I got you. Yeah. Bend over. Wow. All right, we ready? <laughs> I'm not recording yet. So, ready? Three, two, one. Let's get it.